but I'm alone this time. My dad dipped on me. So I'm trying to stay hyped. Not like the other times when I'm just like, eh. So I got a story for you. This today's about how you, it's how you uh, think outside of the box and how you kind of uh, fulfill all your strengths and like think. So sometimes I'm not a thinker. So this one kind of helped me out a lot, but yeah. So it was a businessman and he always kind of like to take risks. So he talked to a loan shark, said, I need a big loan, big enough to build me a, a big enough to build me a, what should we call it? A business. And he thought of it. He's like, okay, perfect. So give me about a month or two. So he's like, okay, I'll give you a month and a half. Between that, he's like, perfect. And the guy's like, okay, a month in. He's barely building it, it's halfway through. So, like 20 days in, or a month and 20 days, so 50 days, he's struggling. He's like almost done, but the loan shark's like, hey, you better give me my money back. So the guy's like, crap. So, on the, uh, oh, crap. It was, it got, was two months, He's like, man, give me half a month, so 15 days, and I promise you I'll get my money. And he's like, okay, I'm trusting you, but it's gonna double because you're making me wait so long. He's like, okay, I'll still make that happen. And he's like, okay, perfect. So the guys, he's not getting any business. He had the grand opening, only like three people showed up. So he's like, dang it, how is this gonna work? And the guy's like, there's only one way to get you out of debt. The loan shark said, there's only one way to get you out of the debt. If you marry my daughter. He's like, hold up. But the thing is, I don't know about it. So, is she real true love or what? So he's like, okay, let me talk to her. Let me think, maybe she's a nice girl, everything. So he talks to her, they go on a couple dates. He's like, okay, seems fine. He's, he actually falls in true love. And he talks. And he's like, okay, I'm down with this. She's really pretty, everything. And he's like, okay. And so they go to the marriage. The loan shark had the perfect idea. So he said, I have a clear rock and a black rock. But honestly, he only had two black rocks. So he was struggling and he was like, dang, this is perfect. I'm gonna get my money and my daughter is gonna get a, a husband. So. He's like, okay. He's like, okay. So the daughter has to pick a, to a rock, but she has, she had three choices. She could have picked both rocks out and showed that they were both black. She could have refused to do it, or she could have just took the bag and emptied it out and said no. So she's like, okay, but she picks it. She picks one is before she looks at it, she drops it on accident, and she's like. In her quote, she said, oh, I'm so clumsy, I'm sorry. I'm gonna, maybe if we look into the bag, we'll see which one I pick. Because everyone thinks there's just a black and a clear rock. So he's like, okay, he didn't understand. but So he pulled it out and there was the black rock. So she got to marry him. The guy got out of the debt, got out of debt and everything good happened. I'm not trying to make this like a fairy tale but that sounds perfect. Like, maybe it was a fairy tale, but still, I think that was perfect. Hey, talk to you later on a Real Talk Tuesday.